Good day guys and girls. Do you have a bio bidet toilet seat that's malfunctioning or broken or perhaps a broken damper that isn't working anymore? Stick around, we'll show you how to fix this quick and easy with simple hand tools and for free. Stay tuned. Okay guys and girls, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna unplug the bidet toilet seat. As you can see, the night light is not on. I can assure you that this unit has been unplugged and it's been unplugged for uh, probably close to an hour and that allows the hot water inside to cool down. Not that it would burn you, but at least it gives an opportunity for everything to cool down. So the next thing you're gonna do, without me getting too much into the frame, is you're gonna find your water shut off, you're gonna shut that off. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow you to drain the toilet without having water continually circulating through. So now that we've got the water shut off to the bidet toilet seat, the next thing to do is actually drain the water out of the tank that's in here. And it's hard to see, but there actually is a button right here. It's a half, half circle shape. And all you're gonna do is press it. And we're going to just allow this to drain out. Again, make sure that you shut the water off to the unit itself and make sure that you've unplugged the unit itself. The last thing you want is for that coil to come on inside, start heating up and there's no water in there. You could actually burn out the coil. Now, the instructions that are on the website do not tell you how to drain the toilet seat. So this is actually found in your user's manual. So I'll actually be putting a link to that in the description. So if you're looking for, in the case of this one, it's a BB2000, the instructions will be in there. It'll show you how to drain it, but it's very, very similar on all Baobliss, Bemis, the day type toilet seats. And I think that's got it. So the next thing that we need to do guys and girls is we need to disconnect the water supply that's going to the bidet unit itself. This here is just hand tightened. So you'll be able to twist that off. I'm trying not to get in frame too much, but uh, what I've done is I put just the waste bin or a pail underneath here, just in case there is some extra water that might be in there. There really shouldn't be much. And as you can see, there really wasn't, really wasn't anything. So we're ready to disconnect this toilet seat from the toilet itself. Okay, guys and girls, now that we're ready to slide the toilet seat off, what I would strongly suggest is that you wipe everything down. This is just a standard hand wipe. And if you wanted to, this one is a standard antibacterial wipe just saves the amount of uh, contamination that you might be having here because we're gonna take this seat downstairs. We're gonna do everything on our workbench. We don't want things to be contaminated down there. Of course, we're gonna clean up everything after. So it's not really a super bad issue, but again, if you can stop some of that transfer right now, bonus. So it's gonna be hard to see, but I'll show you when we get the toilet seat onto the bench downstairs, but there's a small button half round, half moon shaped button. And all you're gonna do is press that in and pull the seat directly forward. And that's it. Seat comes off. There might be a little bit of you know residue water back there. You can clean that up before you put it back on. We're ready to take this downstairs. We're ready to do our repairs. So we're downstairs. We've got everything laid out on our bench now. It's gonna make things a lot easier to repair. Now, I mentioned before that there's warranties on these toilet seats. Mine happens to be the BB2000. It has a little bit better warranty than some of the lesser bidet toilet seats. So it carries a three-year fully covered warranty. So that means that if I need parts within the three years, this one's about two years and four months, the parts are covered and even the labor is covered. So if there was something like really difficult, probably something to do with the heating tank, the element in there, they're gonna cover that as well. 
So just double check that when you're looking for the warranty status on your toilet seat. It could be different than this one. Um, and it's also noting that if you're looking at buying one of these toilet seats, that maybe jumping up to the next level is good because you get some uh, better warranty and better part coverage with it. Now, I search YouTube, there is no videos on there about repairing these. There's videos about uh, installing them and there's videos about uh, just general reviews on them. And I don't like to cover content that's already been covered on YouTube. So I figured this was the opportunity to do that because we're a channel for house maintenance, car maintenance, property maintenance, and just showing that the common homeowner with a little bit of tools and the knowledge that you're going to find here, you're capable of more than you think, I promise you. So give them a call. There's a uh, number on the toilet seat and you'll talk to some nice people down in Illinois. Perfect English, no issues with translation there. You're actually gonna be calling down to Crystal Lake, Illinois. Sounds a little bit spooky, maybe some place that uh, Jason Voorhees had visited in the past. But um, anyways, great to deal with. They just wanted a couple of pictures of the damage on the toilet seat itself. And within a few days, I had the new parts shipped up to Canada. No charge to me whatsoever. Fantastic service. Cannot say enough about the service so far. So check them out if you need something. So we've got the seat up on the bench. As you can see, the top lid, there's no problem with it closing. The damper is broken on this actual toilet seat. And we'll take you in for a little bit of a closer look. So that was the problem I was dealing with with the toilet. It's actually cracked and the damper is broken. They just wanted uh, a picture of that just to, to know that there was some damage so that they could replace it properly. The toilet seat itself, the heating element, everything works fine. So before we get into this, what we're going to do is we're going to remove this lid. So if you come over to the right hand side, all you're going to do is pull just enough. So it gets over that little lip there. Just basically, you're just trying to get this part here past that little nub that's on there on the right hand side. It's that simple. Get this out of the way. You don't need it right now. So we're going to turn it around and you're going to find two screws on the back, standard Phillips number two. You could use a number one. Uh, I would strongly suggest not using a drill. And if you followed my channel a lot, you know, I love drills. The drill might be okay at slow speed for taking it apart, but I would not suggest using it to put it back together. If you strip something out in here, you're done. So once we get those screws off, we're just going to take the screwdriver and we're just going to work our way around and just make sure that we're pulling everything apart. Sorry, I'm trying not to get in frame here. We're loosening everything without trying to force it apart just like that. And you'll see that there was some, what looks like dust or some kind of debris coming out of there. That's actually from we have hard water here in Ontario. And uh, what it's happening is it's drying. And then maybe there's even a little bit of cleaning product that's left in there. And uh, yeah, so that's what you're seeing there. Again, if you're unsure, take some wipes, take some disinfectant spray rub everything down. The last thing you want is to cross contaminate your workbench. Obviously we're going to clean everything up after, but you know, the more you can do now, the better. So now we can see a little bit better, the circuit board there. And if we take out our new toilet seat, you'll see that it has the corresponding wires, yellow at the top, green and blue, sorry, green and black down here. A good thing too is to check the toilet seat itself, make sure that it fits, that it's the same size, because this case, mine's an elongated bowl. Um, there is also the standard round bowl, so it's just worth checking before you get too far. The last thing you want to do is tear everything apart, and all of a sudden you've got to, you know, put it back together.
So we're simply going to press that little connector there, pull it out. Black one's out. Again, push on that little connector and green. So that's out now. So now that we've got the wire separated, I did go back to the instructions just to double check and they say do not remove any other wires. So it's gonna make it a little maybe tricky to do this repair, but I think we're gonna be okay. There we go. Nothing wrong with that. A little bit of tension on there, but it's not too bad. I think what they're trying to say is that this needs to be weather protected, even though I can tell that the protection is not beyond this plug. Anyways, we're going to leave it. Then we can say that we didn't fool around, <laughs> didn't fool around with anything, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the screws from the damper. And again, I'm trying not to get too much in frame here. I apologize. So those three screws are out. We're going to put them safely aside so that they don't end up on the floor. I'm going to take that damper and simply pull it out. Damper's out. You see that there. I wonder if this damper actually works and it was just a toilet seat that was maybe broken around it. I don't know. I don't think we want to take that risk. We're going to take this O-ring. We're going to remove it. So that we can push all the wires back through and take this seat out. Hopefully that showed up okay on the camera, but there's there's the old toilet seat there. So hold on to that O-ring, the red O-ring. They don't give you a replacement. And we're simply going to take our new toilet seat and we're going to do the exact reverse. Lay this down, move that O-ring aside. Again, there was nothing wrong with the toilet seat, but other than the fact that it was broken on that one end. But heating element, everything worked fine. Nice to have that, uh, that toastiness there. So pull the wires through. The yellow one's longer, so pull that one through first. Push that through. Again, take your red O-ring. Hopefully this is showing up okay on video. There's a little tab that's actually on the toilet seat, like a little notch. We're just gonna make sure that we get it beyond that to kind of lock it in, which is what we've done. If you have to, take your flathead screwdriver. And all you're gonna do is just push it so that it's seated flat against this portion right here. Hopefully that's showing up okay on video. And lastly, we're gonna take our new damper. And unfortunately I can't, I can't tilt the seat around enough because of the way that this wiring is right here. So basically all you're gonna do is you're gonna take this indentation and it's gonna go driving through, and then you're gonna tighten down those screws that we took off. And again, hopefully I'm not getting in a frame. I don't think you people need to see me on video. So there it is in place. All we did was lined everything up so that we could push that back in. Pretty straightforward to be honest. Again, I just feel like some people out there don't uh, know what they're capable of. Not saying that some of this stuff is easy. This for me is quite easy, but I know it can feel intimidating. 
and that's the whole point of this channel. Men, women, young people, old people, you're capable of a lot more than you think. I firmly believe that because I know that. And if you look at some of my other videos, the amount of people that have said, you know, thank you, I didn't know, and you know, it was so easy and all this, believe me, you got this. The parts are free, it doesn't cost you anything but a little bit of time. And there we go. We've got the three screws back in. We've got this O-ring in here. Everything has been set back, pushed tight. Apologies. The O-ring has been set back. It's tight, tight, tight against there. There's a little indentation or a little lip right here. We made sure that the O-ring has gotten tight against that. You can just barely see it at the bottom. So everything's good. We're ready to put things back together. Hopefully, hopefully everything goes well putting this back together. We'll see. So we've got the seat ready to go back together. We've got to make sure that we put our wires back in. So we've got our yellow wire. Again, I'm trying not to get too much in frame here. You could hear a little click, or at least I could hear a little click. You want to make sure that the wires don't get kind of all bunched together here. Got our black. Click. We've got our green. Again, I'm trying to do this without getting too much in frame. Click. Give it a little tug. Everything's good. So now we got to try to get this back together, boys and girls. And that might be just a little bit easier said than done. I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit here so you can catch all of this goodness. So we're going to just try to make sure that everything lines up. We've got our, our front down here. We're making sure that it's ready to kind of sit down onto those little tabs that we pointed out. Try to turn it around so you can see that. All right, so everything is lined up on here. We're simply going to push down, click, click, click. So everything's clicked in place there. Now the back, we're just going to make sure that we haven't pinched any wires. It doesn't look like we have. I'm going to get them past those little tabs. And we're ready to put it back together. If it's sit sitting there on its own and it's not trying to pull apart, then we haven't pinched anything in there. Or at least we're fairly confident that we haven't pinched anything in there. We're going to take those two screws. Again, this is where I don't like using a drill, especially. You got these coarse threaded screws that uh, don't quite want to focus on the camera, but um, they can do some pretty good damage on plastic. And there is kind of threads in the plastic already. You're just going to basically thread that right out. And it's just like that. So let's give it a test drive. Oh, look at that. When you get used to a slow close lid and then you lose that functionality, man, it just, it's one of those creature comforts that I just cannot recommend enough. It just, it makes a world of difference. So to put this back together, I actually like to hook on the right side first because there's that nice protrusion, that little damper that's protruding outwards. I like to do that side first. It just clicks on a little bit easier and you have to do this in the down position because the damper has come back down. And then all you're going to do is you're just going to slightly lift out until you hear that click. We're going to give this a test drive, make sure that it still works. And would you look at that? It's really that simple. Um, it just takes a little bit of patience. Obviously you don't want to break anything, but take your time. You got time. The 
parts are free. Your labor is your own labor, so you're putting your sweat equity, in, equity into it. Just take your time. I promise everything's going to go well. Now we're ready to put this back onto the toilet. Take it for a test drive. Okay, guys and girls, we've got the toilet seat back up here. And as you can see, all we're going to do is line everything up. It just takes a little coaxing. <laughs> Click. It's locked back in place. It's really that simple. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to hook up the water line. Make sure that everything is seated properly before you start twisting. Make sure that you're not cross-threading the actual connection. And there's a little bit of water on this. And again, I'm trying to do this without getting too much in frame. But basically, you're just going to hand tighten everything. There's a rubber gasket that's located within here. It's what's actually making the seal. It's not the compression of the actual threads that's making the seal on this. So you don't have to be super tight with it. Go slow when you're turning the water back on. Very slow. And that's it. Water's been hooked back up. Okay, guys and girls, so you can see that we've got the seat reinstalled. Just a little quality of life item. I pointed this water connection straight down so that when you're viewing from up top, you can't actually see the hose, it just kind of disappears a little bit. Again, just a little quality of life improvement, but let's take this thing for a test drive. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And you might laugh, but when you're used to this kind of creature comfort and then it's taken away, it's really, really hard to go back. I strongly recommend, if you're even just looking for a toilet seat out there, go with slow clothes, listen to the bear. I would never, ever steer you wrong. Well, thank you boys and girls for watching. It really is that simple. You don't need a lot of special tools. And in this case, it was free repair. So definitely check out the warranty page on BioBidet to see if you're covered. And again, if you're looking at maybe stepping up to the next product, uh, even though it might be a little bit more expensive, you might get a better warranty out of it, better coverage, which means some free parts if something goes wrong. So really, it was that simple. Just a little bit of sweat equity in our case, and we've got it fixed. And this repair process is going to be the same or very similar for every bio bidet product and probably for most bidet style toilets out there. If you have any questions at all, I will answer them and I'll answer them to the best of my abilities. If I don't know, I'll tell you. Or if I can point you in another direction, I will. That's what this page is all about. It's all about helping the common man or woman out. You really, I, I know this for sure, like you just don't know what you're capable of. With a little bit of knowledge that you're going to get from this page, maybe a special tool here or there, you're going to be able to do car maintenance, home maintenance, property maintenance, all kinds of stuff. You're going to save yourself money. You're going to save yourself time. And you're going to get that satisfaction of doing it yourself. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, thumbs down. And tell me why down in the comments. Honestly, constructive criticism is always welcome. I'm always trying to improve this channel. Please, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. It will really help me out be able to get uh, better equipment and possibly better editing software, all that, so that we can make just cleaner videos. But again, I firmly believe that the content is much, much more important than how flashy it is, how clean it is, all of that. It's much more important in my eyes. And I think if you're at this point, you believe that too. So keep bearing because remember you never know unless you bear. We'll see you on the next one.